tutorial is about little rosebud with lots of water drops on petals. Drawing is done, which is available for download. Removing the excess amount of graphite off. Using masking fluid to cover little areas where the water drops is going to be at the very end of the tutorial. While masking fluid is getting dry, we can mix the colors. Apply water, opera rose, second mix is opera rose with sennelier red, third mix is perlin maroon with a little touch of pinks. Fourth mix is for the green part, sap green with a little touch of perlin green. Next green mix is sap green with a little touch of alizarin crimson. And sap green with perlin green more darker mix. Masking fluid is still getting dry and we can work on the green parts of this rosebud. Apply water and starting with the green mix, applying very thin layer, working with the tip of the brush. I'm using fine tip brush to make small and precise brush strokes. This is a small drawing, small painting, so not here using wide and big brush. Take a mix of sap green with alizarin crimson for the little tip of the sleeve. If you look carefully in your reference image, you will notice these little changes in colors, these little details which we can already paint. Adding shadow part to this leaf. Also, everything is visible in the reference, so look carefully for tonal changes. The same for the second leaf. Apply water first, thin layer of water. And green mix. Carefully work with the tip of the brush, don't go over edges. Rose petal is pink and it will not be nice to have greenish color on rose petals. So work carefully, don't go over the edges. Adding little spots, uh, these pattern areas of mixed sap green with alizarin crimson, you will also notice these little colors in the reference. We are now building the background color for the, these more reddish uh, details, but now they need a little darker tone, which is more brownish in this case. And later we will add more clear alizarin crimson to those spots. Adding lemon yellow to the edges. I also notice a yellowish tone in my reference. That's why I'm adding here now.
Now taking clear alizarin crimson and adding while the surface is wet it's nice to add this color any color with a little stippling method it will blend nicely in the painting area and look natural so carefully uh, looking at my reference noticing these changes details patterns textures Adding a darker tone to the curved area where the leaf goes under the rosebud 